and welcome to my Fort Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to insert a background image and sculpting it out of mesh. Now, right now, we have a default cube. Now, we're going to go to view, insert a background image. So, you click background image, use background image, and load. Now, you're going to go to desktop, which, is which I highly recommend you save your image. Because the experience I had, you can't move, to move, you can't go to more than two folders. So right now I have a, right now I have a um, telephone pole, and that's what we're going to be sculpting out of mesh. So when you highlight like it, then you're going to delete the default cube, or at least I am, because that's what I have. Add mesh, and then I'm going to press cylinder. Okay. And I'm going to go down, scale it down a lot, and start at the base of the telephone pole. Now I'm going to go into edit mode. Scale it down a little more. All right, that's good. Now I'm going to press A to deselect all, and B, and B to box select and select all these vertices. All right? Now I'm going to press E to extrude and keep extruding. You see the telephone pole is leaning a little bit? So that's fine. I'll just keep going straight up. Okay. Now I'm going to select the bottom cylinder. Shift D to copy it. Oops. and bring it up. I'm going to scale it down. And put it right here. Now A to just you know what? Just move it in warm. A to just select all and select the top vertices on cylinder. E Rotate it and E again. Now we're going to copy this. Shift D. Rotate with R and drag your mouse down. Okay. So now that that's it. Move that up a little. That looks good, right? Okay. Now that that's in, I'm gonna copy this tube right here. Shift D. So this way I could copy. We don't have to insert a whole bunch of different tubes. So that'll just waste time. And then we'll do that. E to extrude. And that should be good actually. Now we just select that, drag it up so it's inside, grab that, drag it so it's to the end. There we go. Now this is good for a telephone pole. And in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to put wires on it and putting in a background. That's it for now, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.